Hi, I'm Emma Slate. I'm the Chief Executive of Turner Real Estate. We moved into Green Hill Road in June 2016. When we moved in, we certainly wouldn't have thought we would have been able to save as much power as we have. Being able to reduce our power consumption by 75%, I think is actually a pretty big achievement that we're really proud of. I guess with having solar, with uh, replacing a really old air conditioning system, LED lighting, increasing our shading, they've all added up to be significant wins. The staff really enjoy the outdoor area. The courtyard is just a wonderful area to collaborate together and has a great aspect of greenery as well. And then these meeting rooms are fantastic as well and, and we've got the magnificent oversight into the parklands. So we're really fortunate to have not only a comfortable building but one that's got a great outlook and a lot of greenery as well. Hi, uh, I'm Alastair Laycock, Managing Director of CBRE. Yeah, one of the initiatives is that we've gone completely paperless as an office. We've got a very flexible environment. Anyone can work, come in, work from any desk. Having a more mobile workspace, uh, we get a lot more collaboration. Also uh, creates a lot more productivity amongst our team, which has been fantastic. One thing we have seen is we haven't had to increase the size of our footprint but we do have more staff and we're a growing business. So this type of format has enabled us to work with a larger number of staff um, in the same footprint within the building. I'm Lewis from Cundall, a principal ESD consultant, have been here since 2008. So for us, what's really important when we selected this space was the, the high level of natural daylight. When we're working on it on a day-to-day -day basis, we rely on the use of task lights to respond to the changing uh, amount of daylight that we're getting through the windows. We've been able to achieve excellent energy efficiency outcomes with a, a combination of high-tech and low-tech solutions that don't necessarily involve high cost outlays. Uh, so that's very important to demonstrate to the clients that it's maybe not as big of a journey as, as they think. My name's James Hayter, so we have a uh, landscape architecture practice called Oxygen, which is in Halifax Street in the city of Adelaide. We bought a, essentially a concrete block building that had uh, zero environmental credentials at all, and then what we've done is we've actually modified it, we've tested out ideas. So it's a modern workplace, so uh, it's an open plan, we purposely don't have offices, although we have up to seven breakout spaces spread throughout the building. What that does is it encourages people to um, walk, to move, get away from their desk, it's a probably 70% less time is taken for sickness in this office than in the last building we were at. Where our last office was in the city, it was a, a building uh, half the size of this one, and our energy bill and electricity was four times. We came here, it became a quarter of the bill for a building twice the size. Um, so you know, it speaks for itself is that uh, to do this has real advantages for us as business owners.